Welcome back to my channel. Based on the title, you can see that I will be giving you a car tour of my 2021 Hyundai Tucson four-wheel drive. All right, so let's just jump into it. This is my 2021 Hyundai Tucson. And as you can see, I love, love the color. I was a bit hesitant or skeptical at first, but um, someone convinced me that this color is the one for me. And after having it for almost about a month now, I wholeheartedly agree. This color is a sky blue, I believe it is. So I love all these clean aerodynamic lines on the hood. And as you go down, we have an updated light, headlight. These are running LED lights, daytime running lights. And you have your regular lights. And also, I have turning lights here on the side. If you go down, we also have fog lights here. And they also are on in the daytime. Again, LED daytime headlights, fog lights. And then this is the grill. You can see the big Hyundai emblem right here. Smacked in the middle of this grill. The grill is a hard plastic. And it's black. The only thing I don't like about the front of this vehicle is that if you can see here, this is also a hard plastic and this is in like a matte silver color. I wish this was like chrome to match the Hyundai emblem. But that's my only qualm about the front of this vehicle. And again, the grill do extend down here as well. We also have our sensors here at the front so if you're too close to a car a feature of this car is that it will put an automatic brake or stopping system so that's a sensor for that as well all right so as we walk around the vehicle of this car on the side we do have some turning lights here on the back of the mirror and also if you go down to the tires you can see, if I'm not mistaken, these are 18 inch wheels or 19 inch alloy rims as well. And these are Michelin tires, so they're pretty good. And if you come here, once you do have the key on you, and when you enter the handle of the door, there's some lights on the inside of the handle that lights up to allow you to let you know that you know you can just press this button and the doors will open and I will demonstrate for you right now did you hear that so that's the door opening and closing unlocking and locking and then of course if you have a key you can also open it with the key and I will show you the fob in a moment again we see these aerodynamic lines going here at the bottom at the side of the car these front windows are not tinted, which I might tint later in future, but I'm not too sure as yet. If you think I should tint the front windows, please let me know in the comment section below. The back windows are tinted. They aren't heavily tinted and they're, they aren't lightly tinted. They are just perfect. So passengers at the back can also see through them. And here we have the gas tank on the left side of the vehicle again these lines just go down the back and then we reach the back of this vehicle this suv i like these new designed lighting again you have your side turning lights and then your back lights for people to see it for you at the back again we see this big hyundai emblem here if we go down now we can also press the button here and we'll open the back trunk of this vehicle and as you can see this is a lot of cubic space at the back please don't mind my bag <laughs> so you can also push down the back row seating to allow you more space for any cargo that you may have there is um you know, a dummy tire, as you like to call it. And then 
you have you can put some stuff here um, as one of my favorite youtuber car video youtubers like to say you can put some Twinkies in there shout out to Ratey and yeah I just like it because this back seat is very very spacious and you can just pull it back down there's also a rear view backup camera here as well the only thing I would have appreciated is if the back trunk of this Jeep was an electric gate where you just do your foot at the, at the bottom of this and then it would automatically open the tailgate of this vehicle. Oh. But I'm not, I'm not opposed to it either. So it is a 2.4 liter engine and you can see it here as well and H-Track H -track is the all-wheel drive. Now I'll just show you the inside of this vehicle, which is one of my favorite, favorite parts. And I'll talk more about the features as well. All right, guys, so I am inside of this vehicle. And as you can see, this is very clean, modern, and up-to-date, the interior of this. I also like um, how this is a leather wheel. So you have your steering wheel, it's fully leathered and has some stitching on the inside. So you can tell that it's real good quality. On here, you can see various buttons. This is for the infotainment that will uh, illuminate on your speedometer. And also you have cruise control and you can also cancel and press okay for certain things. You, you can also go up and down when you're on the menu. And then on this other side here, you have uh, various modes that the vehicle can go in. Here you can talk to your vehicle or on the phone. You can answer phone calls and then end phone calls. This is the volume button for going up or down. And then if you push the button down, it will mute it as well. Going on to... Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted. All right, so as you can see, the speedometer is illuminated and it gives you some information. It does have an analog um, speedometer, which isn't bad, but it also gives you a digital speedometer in the middle here as well. Currently, you can see that the temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. And this is a new vehicle. I had to drive it quite a few ways um, so I did add a few miles on it, which I don't mind at all. And then going on to the infotainment center here. You can see we have radio and there's a three free month trial with Series XM radio. So currently that's what I have available. Then there's for your media here. There is no media available, but that goes for Bluetooth, audio, USB, etc., iPod, whatever it is. Then you do have these nice knobs here on the side. I like them because I like to feel things um, and they're very tactile. <laughs> you push it in to turn it on and off, the volume button. And then this is all touch screen. I believe this is a six or seven inch display. And then you can just press all apps and then you basically can see all the apps available here you have my menu and then you also have like the setup so you can phone project this hyundai tucson does come with a blue link which is the hyundai app and if you have the app you can start this vehicle with your phone and then you have home phone setup and all of that and again this is the tone dial button here it does have if we go down to the heating and cooling system of this vehicle you do have dual ac and heating this side is for the driver this side is for the passenger um, and it's clean air so this is very good and very 
COVID friendly. You have your fan buttons here and then the mode for the heat or the cooling AC unit. And what I really, really love is that this vehicle comes with heated seats for both the passenger and driver. Also, it has heating steering wheel. The only thing I might have to um, knock this vehicle for is that it does not have heating mirrors, heating side mirrors, which would be perfect for uh, the snowy, cold climate. But it does have blind spot monitoring, lean assist, keeping, and all those other good features that are available in a 2021 Hyundai Tucson. You have a USB cord and an aux cord, as well as a 12 belt on both sides. You have some storage here. And then this is the gear. You have your regular parking, reverse, neutral, and drive. This is the drive mode. So you have a regular drive mode as well as the sport drive mode. And then this is if you're on any hills, uh, it will basically hold the car in place for a few seconds once this is on. On this side here, you can't see, but we do have traction control, uh, lane keeping assist, like I mentioned, traction control, lane keeping assist. Uh, this is um, the lock for the alt wheel drive, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And again, it senses when cars are nearby you. In the middle here, this compartment, uh, it has a lot of storage. It goes very deep. It uh, goes all the way down. And you can see I just have some stuff here. And of course, I have my mask. Uh, a lot of mask, which is very essential for this day and time. And I love the seat. Um, I wish it was leather, but, um, you know, I cotton is okay. A cotton material is okay for the seat, which I really like because it won't get too hot or cold if it was leather seats. And the glove compartment, it's a good size glove compartment. I have the manuals here and then a few other documentation. And this is carbon fiber up here, which I really like. It gives a nice feel when you touch it and all of that good stuff. Two other things I want to show you is this massive panoramic sunroof and then the back seat. All right, guys, so for the sunroof, you can access it and operate it from here. Once you slide the sunroof button all the way up, as you can see, it just goes back. All right, and then if I push it up again, it raises and it goes back. And instantly you can see so much light just came into this vehicle, which I really love for the spring and when the spring and the summer months. And um, even sometimes for fall as well, if you don't want to have your regular windows down, you can always have the sunroof open and you can still get a lot of air in and everyone will just be cool and comfortable. And then you can just slide this back down if you want to close it. And then if you stop it at any time, it stops wherever you want it to stop. But I'll just continue to go. And then, then I'm just going to show you one more mode. And then as you can see, it it's cracked. The sunroof is cracked a little. So you can still get a little, a little bit of air in. But I really, really love this panoramic sunroof. And I'm going to close it now. This is a five-seater. Um, some SUVs can fit up to seven, like the Nissan Pathfinder. As you can see, the back seat is very spacious. And if you're like five, seven, five, nine, even up to six foot, you can sit comfortably. I'm a bit tall, so that's why my seat is all the way back. So I do need the leg space for myself, but it's very 
cool and comfy in the back seat. And the very good thing about this is that you have cup holders in the doors, as well as you do have heated seat for the back seat as well. Some vehicles don't offer that, so I really, really do like that when I do have passengers. And then you do have your AC in the back there. Unfortunately, there are no, there are no um, USB cords for your back seat drivers, riders, but um, there's plenty of room you can use at the front. And then these do have um, some pockets. There are also LED cabin lights on the side, which is pretty, pretty cool. And they, they light up pretty bright at night. Okay guys, so basically this is the key fob. This is how it looks. And I did get it from Cambridge Hyundai. So shout out to you guys. Again, I'm the first owner, so I like that a lot. And this is how the key fob looks. I wish Hyundai for the 2021 model, um, the key fob was a bit updated. That was my wish, but it feels nice to the touch. It feels of quality and it has uh, the lock and unlock button, as well as if you hold this, the back trunk would open. Although I haven't mastered that as yet, so I'll have to look at the manual again. And if you hold this button, uh, the alarm will sound. It is push to start. so. If for any reason that there are any issues with your push to start, you just press this button here and pull and you do have a key to go into uh, opening the doors or the ignition as well. And then I do like how they have the logo here. Um, presentation is key. Uh, so I really, really, really do enjoy that. All right, guys, so this is it for my car tour of the 2021 Hyundai Tucson. If you really, really enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment, share, and subscribe. It will really, really help out me and my channel a lot. And also just comment on your favorite features of this Hyundai 2021 Tucson. I do respond. Thank you once again for watching this video in its entirety if you did reach this point. And I will see you in the next one.